Microsoft has recently introduced a groundbreaking advancement in artificial intelligence, opening up new possibilities for our interactions with advanced language models such as ChatGPT. This pioneering initiative is dubbed Project Rumi. It represents not a mere incremental progress in AI, but a significant stride ahead, distinguishing itself from previous endeavors undertaken by leading AI research groups. Until this point, our engagement with AI language models has predominantly been confined to text-based interactions. We submit queries or prompts, and the AI provides responses based on its training. However, envision a scenario where an AI could transcend mere comprehension of the words you type. Imagine if it could discern the underlying emotions that accompany those words. This would herald a profound shift in how we communicate with artificial intelligence. Introducing Project Rumi, an innovative venture aiming to revolutionize the way we interact with language models. Instead of just processing text, these models are being taught to understand and respond to human emotions. Imagine conversing with a computer program that not only grasps your words, but also senses the sentiment and feelings underlying them. Microsoft's research page dives into the mechanics of this breakthrough, providing a video demonstration of the software in action. While large language models have proven invaluable, they do have their limitations. They might struggle with understanding the subtleties and context of a conversation relying heavily on the clarity and specificity of user prompts. The data fed to the model is like a dictionary entry, lacking the richness of human interaction. The tone, gestures, facial expressions, and all the nonverbal cues that enhance meaning and convey intentions. Without this crucial paralinguistic information, there's a risk of the model misinterpreting or responding inappropriately to the user. Project Rumi is like giving a language model a superpower. It lets it understand not just words, but also the way we express ourselves beyond language. This is crucial for making conversations with AI feel more natural and meaningful. Imagine it as having a co-pilot that helps navigate through a conversation. In this age of AI co-pilots, Project Rumi uses special models that are trained to understand both what they see and hear. They can pick up on subtle cues that we don't put into words. These models can sense our emotions and thoughts in real time, turning them into special signals that enhance the regular prompts we give to models like GPT-4. This fancy system plays well with all kinds of language models, making them even smarter. It helps them grasp our feelings and intentions that may not be clear from just text. This adds depth and nuance to our interactions with AI, taking human eye conversations to a whole new level. Imagine a detailed picture showing how a user interacts with this advanced system. It neatly divides inputs into two main parts, physical sensors and non-contact systems. Physical sensors. Imagine delicate instruments that gently touch the user, delicately gathering real-time insights about their body. Let's explore three primary types. EEG, electroencephalogram. This extraordinary sensor records the subtle electrical dance of the brain. It unveils the inner workings of the mind, revealing levels of focus, alertness, and cognitive load. It's like peeking into a user's mental landscape, discerning their concentration, relaxation, or even potential mental strain. Perspiration sensors, galvanic skin response, GSR sensors. These sensors are like whispers to the skin, detecting its moisture levels. They're attuned to the body's emotional rhythms, revealing whether the user is in a state of excitement, stress, or perhaps even fear. It's a window into their emotional world, where you may single bead of sweat and tell a story. Heart Rate Monitor This device, as its name suggests, listens to the steady rhythm of the heart. It's a symphony of beats that can reveal a spectrum of emotions from calm serenity to the flutter of anticipation or the rush of anxiety. Non-contact systems. Now let's step into a realm where information flows without a touch. These systems rely on sight and sound to understand the user. Here are three primary systems. Camera. This watchful eye captures the visual tail etched on the user's face. It deciphers the language of expressions, from the radiant glow of joy to the shadowed lines of sorrow. It's an interpreter of emotions, painting a vivid picture of the user's inner world. Eye tracking. This marvel tracks the dance of the user's gaze following the trail of their thoughts. It's like a compass for curiosity, revealing what captivates their interest and what holds their attention. Rapid movements may signal a flurry of emotions, while a fixed gaze might hint at deep contemplation. Speech analysis. This keen listener decodes the symphony of the user's voice. It discerns the cadence, pitch, and tone, translating them into a tapestry of emotions. It's a poet who unravels the threads of happiness, frustration, confidence, or uncertainty woven into the spoken word. 
If you are enjoying it so far, make sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest iRelated videos. This unique blend of physical sensors and advanced non-contact systems provides a complete portrayal of the user's emotional and cognitive condition. This enables the system to customize its responses and interactions accordingly, fostering a more intuitive and empathetic connection between humans and AI. Microsoft has also presented a video showcasing the effectiveness of this software, and has been seamlessly integrated into a better version of Bing Chat. From the initial snapshot, one can observe how the user records either a video or audio, which is then converted into text by the AI. Subsequently, the emotional nuances of the user are depicted in a visually intuitive pie chart. This snapshot reveals moments of happiness and, intriguingly, a touch of disgust picked up by the astute AI. In the video demonstration, the AI accurately identifies the user's state as neutral. As we continue to watch more of the video, the speakers explain how difficult it is to break down sound in order to decipher the meaning concealed within it. The audio is broken down in great detail, initially into its language components, and then into its individual components. This activity is completed with the assistance of two agents that bring about transformation. It all starts with Hubierty, the first of these agents. The well-known bird architecture, which was initially developed in order to find answers to mysteries in natural language, was a significant inspiration for Hubert, which is a marvel that has the ability to alter the course of events. Hubert takes unprocessed speech data and transforms it into a structure that is analogous to language. In order to accomplish this, he looks for discrete units that function similarly to words or tokens in a written sentence. Hubert's primary objective is to enhance performance across a wide variety of later tasks, including speech recognition, generation, and compression, amongst others. It achieves this by processing features of speech that are continuously hidden and by making predictions about where clusters will go before they actually occur. The architecture of Hubert is quite comparable to that of WAV2 VEC 2.0. One of its versions, the most basic, has 95 million parameters, while another version, the most advanced, has 317 million parameters, which is quite a lot. Additionally, they make use of the Distilbiori Transformer. This version of the BERT Transformer model is more streamlined, more agile, and smaller in weight. It was created specifically for tasks using natural language. It is created by a technique known as knowledge distillation, and it reduces the size of the original BERT model by an astonishing 40% while maintaining an impressive 97% of its capacity. This not only makes distilled VRT more resourceful, but it also makes it suitable for applications that can be run on devices and in settings where there is little processing capacity. It has applications across a wide range of natural language problems, including the categorization of text, for example. In its most basic form, Project Rumi conceals an astonishing secret. We are used to merely having conversations with expansive language models, but now they might be able to understand our feelings and thoughts. This is a significant step forward. Because of this, one might anticipate a significantly higher degree of comprehension and ultimately, an improvement in the response's overall quality. What are your thoughts on Project Rumi? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more interesting content like this one, Make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on our upcoming videos. And just before you leave, check out these videos as well.